Welcome back. Well, Joe Biden addressing the country's largest teachers union, the National Education Association, about everything from climate change to abortion, but not, you know, education. The survival of our, our planet is on the ballot. And that sounds like hyperbole, but it genuinely is. The path offered by Democrats is con contrasted with the one offered by the MAGA Republicans. If you give me two more Democratic senators in the United States Senate, I promise you, we're going to codify Roe. Politics, politics. At his speech comes after reports that that same union helped create badges for teachers with QR codes that lead students to sites with explicit sexual material. Our all-star mom panel is here to react. New York Post columnist Carol Markowitz, the host of the Keisha King Show, Keisha King, and senior fellow for the Independent Women's Network, Asra Nomani. Ladies, all thank you so much for being here. Carol, does it surprise you at all that Joe Biden's speech to the NEA had nothing to do with the E in their name? It doesn't, because neither party is interested in the ed education of children at all. Um, President Biden continues to hand over power to this special interest group, even though it hurts children. And he let them set health policy, which kept schools closed during the pandemic. And now, instead of facing the damage that they've done, they're handed more power by this president. And parents need to understand that these unions go hand in hand with the Democratic Party yes. to push insane leftist ideas on our kids. Critical race theory, gender ideology, and now this new shift to teaching kids about various kinks is all put Pushed by these union heads with the approval of the Biden administration. Elections matter. If you vote for Democrats, understand that you are voting for this. And my message to the Republican Party, do not forget that parents are fired up. Talk to parents. Run on school issues. This is a layup for you. Don't miss. It's very well said. Uh, Keisha, the superintendent of, of this school district in Hilliard uh, put out a statement over the backlash over these NEA badges. Here's what was said. The QR, this is what they claim. The QR code in the back of the badge is not there to be shared with students. Rather, it is provided to adults by the NEA should they be interested in learning more about LGBTQ plus issues and supporting LGBTQ plus students. Any teacher who chooses to wear one of the badges clearly understood that the resources were intended for adults, not students. Yet, one of the resources links to teen health sources querying sexual education, promising to empower youth it also, it also includes a how-to guide for performing sexual activities. Uh, Keisha, what do you make of it? I think that the left has gone completely insane. I don't understand how it seems like every solution that they want to offer is based around sex. Oh, if you have a mental health issue, if, if you're an LGBTQ child, which I don't even know, like, why do we even know if your sexual preferences Yeah, why are we talking about minors, that? Yes. Why are we even talking about that? But their solution seems, seems to be this radical sexual extremism. And I think the left has become the party of that. They have become the party of radical sexual extremism and our children are right in their crosshairs for sure Osra it seems to be younger and younger uh, it was once was sex ed now it's the youngest of ages and the most complex of sexual topics oh it's just so disturbing and Keisha and Carol are completely right you know we are hyper sexualizing children now and it's for a political and ideological agenda you know I have been studying this for two years and behind me is a pile of books that I have gotten. One of them is, you know, taking the idea of this, the wheels on the bus and now turning it into a drag queen story hour. And how did we get here? We talked about stealing this morning. Well, we're now stealing children's souls. This is a book that some people might know, not my idea, a book about whiteness. This is the race issue. But look at this disturbing last page. Innocence is overrated. And that's how you end up with QR codes that teach, you know, pair, teach teachers then how to give kids sex tips. Look at this book, The Gay BCs. It is a book meant for little hands. And I is no longer for ice cream. It's now for intersex. T is no longer for train. It's for trans. This is book after book that is about indoctrination, pronoun book, bye-bye binary. And how do we end up with all of this kink, as uh, Keisha put it so aptly? You end up with this book for teenagers. Let's talk about it. 
And it literally tells teenagers to go on the internet to find people with similar fetishes to the ones that they have. And it gives them a guide on how to give their nude pictures and share them on the internet. This is the disturbing stealing of the American child's soul. And I can't agree with everybody any more than than what has already been said that, you know, we've got to stand up and we have to lay claim to our children as the heavens divined it. Well said. Carol, that idea that innocence is overrated, that certainly looks exactly like what they're targeting here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Somebody might have a book coming out on this very topic that I can't quite announce yet, but yes, this is absolutely what's happening. They are targeting our kids to not be kids, to be little soldiers in their fight uh, for leftism. So, you know, you're going to hear a lot more about this, but this is definitely exactly what's happening, and parents need to fight for their children. You see it happening. You know it's happening. Don't ignore it. Don't pretend somebody else is going to fight for you. Don't try to, like, just, you know, pretend that it's not happening. It's happening, and you have to stand up for your kids. Nobody cares about your children more than you do. This is the, the line that parents need to take with them everywhere they go. No one will fight for your kids the way that you will. Amen. Keisha, last word. What do you say to parents who say, well, but it's not in my public school? Oh, I can bet you if they dig deep enough, it's some, there's something somewhere that you would not be happy with as a parent. And uh, just like Carol and Osra said, we have to make sure that we are continuing to speak up about this and making sure that we are voting in those uh, politicians and officials who will stand up for parents and protect children. Amen. Uh, you got one more book, Osra, and then we got to go. Oh, I'm just saying. One of these books from this pile of books is in your school library yeah. and in the classroom. Do not parents be aware. Parents be aware. Do not lie to yourself. Carol, Keisha, and Azra, as usual, you delivered. Thank you all so much for being such patriotic and passionate mothers uh, and uh, protecting our kids. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You got it.